Thanks for staying with us here on Joy News today. Let's go to our first sports story. And the Ghana FA has offered the Ghanaman Soccer Center of Excellence in Prom Prom to the government of Ghana for use as an isolation center in the fight against COVID-19. The Ghana FA President Kurt Okreku made this disclosure during today's press briefing at the Information Ministry. So following the passionate appeal by the President of the land, His Excellency Nana Adodam Kwakufuado, asking all Ghanaians to join the fight against our biggest enemy, the Ghana Football Association, led by the Executive Council, thought that Regardless of the fact that we've been going through our own, what we call COVID-18, in the period leading to normalization and beyond, we will not sit down aloof, for which reason we decided that we have a special facility in Pram Pram that can house up to 250 people. It is strategically placed. We decided to offer this facility to the use of government as one of the isolation centers to treat our people, our colleagues, our brothers and sisters who live in Pram Pram and its environs. Now, following that singular decision, we decided together with the support of the Ministry of Health, the, the government officials, to engage the chief, the elders, and the youth of Pram Pram and its environs. In the last few days, we've gone through that process successfully, and we can confidently say that the facility is ready to be used by the government free of charge to ensure that our brothers and sisters in Pram Pram and its environs are well taken care of. Together, we'll win this battle, and together, we'll bring our football back. Italy-based Ghanaian footballer Emmanuel Ajimambedu says the 2019-2020 season have been the toughest, uh, has been the toughest um, in period in his life. Now, last month, his sister Hager was shot and killed in Brekum, and in August last year, the Hellas Verona player came close to dying after doc doctors discovered blood clots in his lungs. Bedu says that he um, has uh, gone through a very tough period. He spoke to our partners, the BBC. The, the year 2019, the year 2020, the toughest years in my life. As you said, I, I nearly I, I get a lot of injuries. And with this pandemic, I, I lost my sister in a painful way. It's, it's, very, it's very difficult for me and the family. The guy is on the run. We haven't uh, got him yet because things have been slow because of this uh, virus. And um, it, was, it, was, it was a disaster at that time. Uh, I live alone here. Uh, my, 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 my girlfriend and my, my child is not here with me. And I'm in the middle of this pandemic. And I need, I need to thank my friends, the family, the loved ones. And our team, Hellas Verona, my agent, has been there for me. Our coach, Yuri, has been there for me as well. He call him in every day to check up with me. Our team manager, our president, and every, my colleagues. They have been very wonderful. Without them, it would have been a very disaster because I have been in the room for 34 days. My sister has been killed painfully and couldn't go to see what happened. But um, this is the job I have chosen. This is how the situation has been for now. So I just need to abide with it, take good care of myself, be mentally tough, and just live with it right now. I can't do anything. Well, there's more on these stories and others at 2 p.m. when I bring you sports today. In the meantime, Joy News Today continues. We'll bring you world news and entertainment. You stay right there. My name is Nathaniel Affer of Sport.